Hey guys, Crewman here, and if you're like me, you're currently trying to squeeze every single dime out of profitability and or yield that you can right now. God bless the bear market. Just kidding. But in all seriousness, dual mining is, is very important, and I'm here to show you how to dual mine Nexa and Zill with the latest Regal Miner. Uh, I had some problems with it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was not easy for me to figure out which is why I want to make a guide thank you to all my friends at the Sinner Solace discord you know who you are for helping me out getting this working and the regal discord was not uh, wasn't bad either they uh, they helped a little bit not quite as much as Sinner Solace boys but they definitely helped so this is a pretty quick video uh, it's not as hard as I'm making it sound it just took me a while to figure out some of the tweaks so I'm just gonna show you real quick how to make the wallet and how to make the flight sheet not the wallet just how to make the flight sheet and then I'm gonna show you the commands that you need to put in for a 3070 specifically and then you can update it as you go along with other Nvidia GPUs now I've only done this with a 3060 a 3060 Ti 3070 3670 Ti 3080 and 3090 but most of the settings should be the same and I will leave those in the comments down below so let's get to it Alright guys, so you can see here that uh, I'm making the wallet, or the flight sheet. Nexa is the first coin. I'm just typing in a random wallet address to get it going. Uh, for the pool, I like Wooly Pooly Pool. You can use any other pool, so just sub in your settings with uh, right here. For the miner, we use the latest Regal Miner. Now make sure your hive is updated to the latest one. Uh, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Then you want to configure the flight sheet. And I will put, uh, well, this is important actually. You want to make sure that you have the wallet, the worker name, follow the template I have below. Now, for the extra parameters, uh, this is what you need. These are the settings for a 3070. I will put all the other settings in the comments down below. Um, if you are using more than one GPU of a different model, you need to adjust the settings accordingly, you know, with commas and stuff. I prefer to leave the same GPUs on the same rig to make everything simple and easy, but I'll put an example of more than one GPU in the comments down below. So then you make your second coin Zill. I just am creating some random wallet. As you can see, I use Crazy Pool. Um, Rabbit did a great video on it. You know, I, I think they're the most trustworthy pool, so that's who I'm using. And then you create your flight sheet, and you're good to go. That's it. It's really not that difficult. One other thing you guys want to make sure you do is you want to use the normal overclock area for the power level for your Nexa. Uh, it will respect the power level when it switches over to Zill, so it's not going to mess it up. And you want to put your fan over there, and it will again will respect the fan parameters. So uh, I'm gonna leave next. I'm gonna leave uh, settings for all of the GPUs that I use down below. Uh, I guess you could also look at this as an overclock guide as well. This is what I found that works for me. You know, um, as far as the Zill settings, I, I don't. I, you know, at first it was me kind of just not wanting to push it. Now, um, you know, I'm gonna start adjusting them this week, and I plan on releasing a more in-depth overclock video. Uh, as I dig into it a little more, but this is just to get the miner going and I think these are the best settings for at least for Zill or I'm sorry at least for Nexa um, And again your Zill settings are basically just ETH uh, ETH hash settings. So whatever you used for ETH or ETH classic will work So, you know, I hope you liked this video. Uh, it was just a quick one to help you guys get going on dual mining Please like and subscribe. I know your time is valuable. So thank you for spending it with me. Group man out